What's up guys? So this video is going to be a little different, different background. I had to pack up my jerseys. Still got a chance to watch this game, but you know, like, and I'm going to probably be a little bit faster because, you know, like as I'm prepared to move, I still got to locate all the stuff into my car. So like, yeah, so that's what's going on in my life. So but yeah, luckily the schedule worked out so I can watch the Canes game and everything. But unfortunately this video, I'm going to have to be standing up. There's no background, there's no jersey. Uh, the background, it may still have a little bit of a bland background as I move for four months during the playoffs and everything, but I will do what I can to move into a place where I can give you guys a background and everything, but just for, yeah. But, so anyway, on to the Canes game. Uh, I thought Canes got the win, which, you know, is always important. Uh, especially when you're as hot as the Canes, it's always great to see the team win. They defended another two-goal lead, which, you know, which for me is the biggest thing the Canes need to worry about. So the fact that they're doing it as the season goes along, love that. Uh, so, but for me, this game, I don't think Carolina played bad. They got the win. Nadelkovich stood on his head. But I felt like Detroit might have played the better game to me. Like, I don't know. I was really tired when watching the game. I don't know why. Just, like, I got really tired. So, maybe I don't remember the game uh, well enough. But to me, every time I watched it, I'm like, wow, Detroit's really getting more chances here. Kane's got more shots. I felt like Detroit had more quality chances. Which, if you are the Detroit Red Wings, it's a good thing to see, especially when you're trying to rebuild. And I unfortunately believe the Toronto would have successfully rebuilt because the best team in our division right now, besides maybe even Carolina themselves, is Tampa Bay. And who built that core? Steve Eiserman, the GM of the Red Wings. So, you know, the fact that there was some fight in Detroit tonight, a good sign for them looking forward. This game was an awful. I'm not even going to rant about a game Carolina didn't win. But I'm going to say that I personally believe that, like, I think Carolina can play better. But when you're a sign of a great team is a team when you watch them and you believe they can play better and they're still winning. And for me, versus a lot of the other games where it was like Carolina was just playing amazing hockey, this game felt like, okay, they took a step back, but they're still getting the two points out of it and Detroit's not getting a point. Now, on to who I personally would give player of the game? Uh, that's a tough one. I uh, would. I thought Martinuk had a good game. Fogel, I think, played well. Also, comment down below. I just watched Superbad. Should I start calling Warren Fogel McLovin? Comment down below if you guys would like to see that. Or give a thumbs up for McLovin if you guys have seen Superbad. But back to, uh, back to the hockey, not raunchy, hilarious comedies from the mid-2000s. Uh, yeah, but I thought Fogel played well. It became down to two for me. Aho and Nadelkovic. And because Nadelkovic played really well, and I think, which Carolina defended the lead, I'm not going to complain about that. Troy got one too many chances, and Nadelkovic lost his shutout. However, Carolina was able to defend the two-goal lead, which is more important than a 100 save percentage. But I think Carolina moving forward, they still show signs of a team that can't defend leads well. However, they still won the game. They defended that two-goal lead relatively well. They had a lot of chances on that open net. They just couldn't bury them, which you need to do when you have a chance to score on an open net. That's my personal advice. But like, like I said, so... Yeah, and, you know, maybe Carolina also took a step back because Vincent Trocek, who had, I think, been their top point getter, is out of the lineup. So make of that what you will. Uh, those are my thoughts. Now, comment down below what you guys, uh, if you guys want uh, McLovin. Also, I think it was the Svechnikov too, but I didn't see them mention Svechnikov, uh, the Svechnikovs a lot, so... I'm not going to personally call it the Sveshnikov today. However, someone on Reddit did tell me I could use it. So, yeah. But anyway, back to that. Comment down below what you guys thought about the game as a whole. Do you guys like the McLovin nickname for folks? 
Do you guys, uh, like, do you guys think I, I didn't say overreacted, but do you guys think I was right in my assessment of Detroit kind of being the better team tonight? Uh, comment down below, and if you guys like the content I'm producing on the channel, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.